Hey, Bobby Washington, I'm back here again with another video to show you guys how to get around this error here for VSTs being loaded into any of your DAW workstations. Uh, you get an error saying that VST cannot be open because the developer cannot be verified. The problem with this is, yeah, you can go to, um, to the system preferences, you can go to security privacy, and once you press cancel or move to trash, then it'll show open here. But by that time, it's too late. The file will not open in reason because either A, you, you put it to the trash and it's not there, or you canceled it, and now the program will ignore it permanently. So how do you get past this? Well, I found a simple workaround, um, and what you do need to do is open up another Finder window and keep this window open to security purposes. So when it, when it says open, anyway, you want to hit that. But you want to go to uh, the Mac hard drive OS library you want to go to audio and you want to go to plugins and you want to look at the one that it's showing you right right now it's file filter uh, L2 right so you want to go to file filter L2 which is here right then you want to right click on that file you want to open with now you want to find the program that comes with the Mac and that's the photo program photo program always open with photo program press open you press open okay yeah now we got it open over here right we got it open over here and for double measure let's do it again open again so it's open right so now what you want to do is now you can press cancel here and press open anyway here and do the same thing for everyone that pops up now it says Pro, pro filter um, C2. You want to do that to C2 as well. So you want to go to C2 and then you want to open it with the same photo. Okay, so now that's open up there and then you want to press cancel here and press open anyway. And you do that, press open here. Okay. So once it does that, now it's going to scan through. It's going to continue to do. It's going to continue to do the same thing until all the plugins are in. You're going to continue to repeat that same method. I'm going to pause and get through the end of this so you can um, see it at the end because I have quite a few plugins to do. So I'm going to pause it and pick up the record. All right, we're coming to the end of it. Um, twin. We're going to the fat for the twin two. We're going to right click. Okay. Press P. Slide down the photo. And then it opens up over here in photo and then you press cancel here and then you press open anyway here and press open here and go see let's go it goes further it's going through all right we have a file through the Saturn all right let's do the same thing for that one file through the Saturn mono all right gonna open with Got quite a few plugins here, but at least you guys can, can see that I'm going through the whole st same steps you're going to be going through. All right, it's a little tedious, man, but it works. It works. All right, so I'm going to pause the video again until I get towards the end. I thought I was at the end, but I still got a few more to go. Looks like it's going all the way through, guys. Let's see. I think I got them all. Let's see here. Don't know why Mac makes it so difficult to uh, to install VSTs, man, and implementing this gatekeeper. This gatekeeper is really blocking a lot of VSTs out. You know, some of the best ones too. The Omnisphere and you know, Fab Filters are like some of the best ones. They're blocking out, but we're gonna get them in there. Don't worry. I'm gonna pause the spinning wheel of death. It should lock out of it, hopefully. Hold on. Alright, oh that's why. It wanted to give me another one. I got one more. Alright, let's do uh volcano two. Volcano two SC. Volcano two SC. Alright, this is the one here. Right click. Okay, press P. 
photo, open it up there. It's over here now. Press C, control, cancel rather. Open anyway, and press open again here. It should go further. Press open again. Yep, it's going, it's going, it's going, guys. We're almost to the end. Don't worry. All right, Matt Canopper. Okay, we're gonna open this one. Yeah, open is always good. When it says trash and cancels, we gotta go do the work. All right, Fab Filter Pro Aura. Fab Filter Pro Aura. There we go. This one. So we're gonna. Yep. Yeah. All right. And yeah, I found this because I knew it just had to be open one time. And unfortunately, you can't open it one time in reasons with, with and make it open. It's just gonna hide it and go away. But with Photo, the app that comes with the uh, Mac, it allows it to open one time for the system to recognize it. All right. Then now we're going to Fab Filter Pro R Mono. Same thing here. All right. Gonna open it here. Um, press P. All right, got it open over there. Press cancel. Press open anyway here, and open here. All right, it's going. Volcano two, volcano two mono, volcano two mono. I'm gonna open it here. Right click. Okay, other. Press P for photo. We're almost done, guys. Bear with me. We're almost done. All right, open anyway. Press open again. All right, open anyway. Perfect, perfect. Everything is going according to plan. Um, if you like my problem solving videos, man, please consider subscribing. I always find issues and, um, and I share them. A lot of people, they find their issues and they fix them, but they don't share them with you guys. You know, they, you know, they just keep them to themselves. I believe knowledge is made to be shared. That's why YouTube is a platform as such. Um, I may not have all the glorious cameras and, and, and lighting on me and, you know, doing the particular YouTube thing. But I think my, my content is very, um, is actually needed. It's needed, man. I, I problem solve, you know, whenever I find stuff with it, whether it comes to music, cameras, um, you know, beat, making software, um, you know, just anything in general, filmmaking. And then I can help you with it. I'm going to try to put it up here. So, And I'm just rambling on because this thing is taking a while. So I might as well ramble. Why not, right? Okay, it's almost done, guys. Almost done. Almost done. If you didn't see my other video, how to force start reasons, um, rescan plugins, make sure you look at that, that, that video on my channel as well. Um, in case something like this happened where it ignored your plugins the first time or you didn't know how to do this feature, you want to rescan all the plugins. But unfortunately, um, there's a certain method to make it make um, Reason 11 rescan. You have to actually go and erase them, actually move a file to the desktop to make that happen. So I did a video on that as well. Make sure you watch that video to rescan plugins. I'm going to make another video for um, Studio One for the same thing to force rescan on that as well. It's a little procedure on that as well. So I'll show you that. But yeah, we're almost done here. Let's go into my UAD. Now, UAD is verified for some reason with Mac. I guess they have a partnership with them. But um, also, Native Instruments was uh, okay. No problem with that. It's just Omnisphere and Foul Filter look like. All right, we're almost to the end, guys. Almost to the end. When it opens up, we're going we're gonna to search for the Omnisphere um, to make sure it opens up. We're going to search for the effects. Fab filter effects, make sure they open up as well. All right, there was some errors. Uh, Plugin status, manage window. Okay, all right, don't worry about that. All right, all right, so we're in here now. We're in here now. Now I want to find Omnisphere Spectrosonics. Yep, and it's right there. Boom, it recognized it. And it's going to be right here. There it is, guys. We got Omnisphere. We got atmosphere boom all right let's go to my my sound that i love so much my wawa that i created right here all right <laughs> there it is so it's working it found the vst 
And that's all that matters. Now, let's try to see if we can find the uh, uh, the failed filter effects. All right, so we're going to right click on effects, effects, and it should be on the failed filter. Yep, failed filter. All the plugins are here, guys. They're all here. So we can open up one, make sure. Let's open it up. Yep, and it works. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful to you guys, man. It got me. You know, it took me a while to come up with that. You know, that's why this video is very long. It took me a long time to come up with that. And um, it works. You know, and once you do it one time, you don't have to do it all the time. Once I close it out, and I'll show you. Let me close it out real quick. When I close out Reason, I'm going to quit it. And um, and we'll just we'll go ahead and save what I got in there. But we're just going to reopen Reasons again. Let's make sure it's totally closed out, right? I'm going to close all of these windows out. Not necessary yet anymore. Close out um, the photo. I'm gonna reopen it. Make sure that atmosphere is still there. And let's see if they give us any kind of errors trying to rescan these plugins. They shouldn't. Yep, it's going in, no problem, no errors. Yep. Everything's all good. And voila! We still have our plugins. Let's see. Omnisphere. Let's see. Let's put omnisphere. Back in here, Spectrosonics. I'm just fish right there, guys. There it is. And boom. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, until the next video, please subscribe, share this video, leave a comment below, and give a thumbs up. Peace and blessings.